I feel you. you. Get the sound quality good. Yeah, I'd rather do it like this. So, guys, welcome to an episode of Team Showers. Um, this is our second go at it today. We're here with Tyler and Fran. What's up, boys? Blah blah. What up, y'all? Aloha, bro. How's you know? All right. Chill. <laughs> So we noticed we couldn't figure out GarageBand as a group. Um, so we tried to Zoom and do it at Tyler's house. That's why the audio has been fucked up because we're all in the same room on Zoom. But I think we're good to go now, boys. What do you guys think? How's it coming in on the headphones, Fran? Uh, it's coming out pretty good. I don't know if you guys are picking me up on the mic because it's clearly not switching to me as I am talking. So to you. you got the yellow frame. Now I have the yellow frame. Oh, did I have it? Yeah, you had it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. As long as you guys are seeing, I guess it's working. Yeah. Dude, I think this will good. probably, just because I'll be listening to you guys better, will probably help me not interrupt. God That's knows it. we need help with that. Yeah. That's my end, I'm a, I'm a bad interrupter, bro. But just to verify, the yellow thing is on when I'm talking, because I just want to yeah. make sure. Okay, cool. All right, then we're golden. Hold on, we're let me get the yellow box, boy. All all right, so we went out as a group on Friday night. It's our uh, our buddy Bobby's. Oh God! <laughs> last week in uh, Virginia Beach, he's going out to San Diego. He's a good training partner of ours. He's, he'll probably get on since we're doing it like this. He'll probably be on here at yeah, some okay. point talking to us and bullshitting. But we all went to PBR after we got in, got to training on Friday, and some of us went a little hard in the fucking paint, didn't we, boys? Uh, it was, uh, it was a good time at the ski lodge. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun, man. It was good to, you know, hang out, cut loose a little bit. You know, I haven't been out in a while, so, you know, I only go out with you guys anyway, so it was a good time regardless. Yeah. I, uh, you know, I, I do it to myself every time I go out, wait, shut the fuck up. um, where, where I'm like, I'll just do like a few Bud Lights, maybe like two or three shots of Jameson and then I'll be good. But after the fourth or fifth shot of Jameson, I always like black out and then wake up in my bed. Yeah, you guys, <laughs> I, I don't drink. So like me going out is a fucking rare occasion. I do uh, dabble that that knows it was not a dabble in any kind of powder kind of thing. But I do other stuff when I go out sometimes, man. And, you know, it gets a little weird at first. Like it used to be around the people when you're uh, – when you're there and then uh you know at one point i just like fran kind of got me into it and the boys just started dancing dude yeah bro and swap came on yes dude. it was a boys night we so, fucking love dancing with each other during wop so pbr <laughs> is kind of like a country bar like they were playing a bunch of country music and every time they would play a country song i would like look over at the dj flip them off and be like boo this fucking sucks dude change this song and uh, eventually he started playing like <laughs> like Mob Deep and like Cardi B. So it was pretty nice. Because I got to the point where like it, it was where everyone was having a good time. And then he would just switch up to some gay song. And I was there with you, too. I was yelling at him like, I want the ratchet shit. Put it back on. And then he's like, like all right, Franny, calm me down. And Franny might have booed him for 15 minutes straight yeah. at one point. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't a real DJ, bro. He just has like a little you know, a playlist. He just presses play and he just switches on to the fucking next song. But other than that, it was a good time. I enjoyed, uh, you know, scaring off dudes by pretending to be gay, you know, just rubbing on random guys when they started getting nearby, which is a good defense tactic. And uh, I think I'm going to use that later on in the future for further but, but it's, it's, gatherings. It's I have one hard. button left on the shirt I wore for Easter last year. Nice. Oh, yeah, that was my favorite part of the night. Um, anytime Connor came close to me, I would just rip the buttons of his shirt open and it got to the point where he only had like the top and the bottom button on and I still had nothing to do with that. And I just wanted to fuck <laughs> rip that bitch. So, to let the chest hair out, bro. Yeah. Well, I, guess, it was, I, see that I mean, this is, this is what's inspiring today. Free the beast. Uh, if you're watching on video, it's just, you know, I'm going to let it flow more. Yeah. Let it flow. You can taco meat. So um, my second favorite yeah, night, was when Ben Hebel and I were we were standing next to each other and we're like, dude, let's stare at that cop. And then as soon as he looks over at us, let's start kissing each other. <laughs> <laughs> it was like some dorky, probably a guy had already worked like a 12 hour shift and he's just doing this for like a time and a half. <laughs> he's like, all oh, these fucking idiots, dude. But yes. 
Bro, um, it felt like there wasn't COVID, dude. It was pretty cool. Yeah, nobody was wearing masks. A good time. We'd all been vaccinated, so we don't have to wear our masks anymore. Correct. I uh, did me. try to put Tyler's mask over his mouth towards the end of the night. That was just to block the vomit, though. That wasn't like... Dude, it's like the whole ride home. It was <laughs> Once we hit Northampton Boulevard, it was just fucking... Uh, and then Frank, did you, Joe, did you, you threw, oh, that's right. You threw up out of the car. Oh, yeah. shit. I forgot <laughs> about that. And I didn't know we had like the whole, like all of the goons and goblins in the car either. Apparently it was like you, Kristen, Caitlin, Steph, <laughs> fucking Connor. Yeah. yeah. We had a nice little crew. We had a nice little crew riding in the back of that noisy ass Mazda. Yeah. That wheel's going to fall off pretty soon here, but whatever. Okay. This is very random, but it popped into my head. I'm not sure you guys seen this video about this swole ass dude. All right, he's jacked. And apparently he's like in a hotel room, right? And he's just going to town on this giant ass dildo. And the cleaning lady comes in. And I wanna, I wanna play this. Maybe they'll pop up in this video shit because <laughs> it's so fucking dude, is this gonna get us pulled off of YouTube? It's so send it to our fun. phones. Send it to our phones. I don't phones. know. It's a video. I could share the screen. Maybe it'll work. Hold on. Host Can we cover that screen in the recording? It says host disabled participant screen sharing. All right, you got to enable it. You got me disabled with this. Oh, Let me know man. you na- enable it because this shit. How the hell do I do that? Come send on, Send it host. in the group chat. Just send it in the group chat, bro. <laughs> yeah, send, add it to the group chat. And we'll look God it. dang it. Am Fine. I coming in good? I feel like I'm not getting the yellow box around me. I mean, I it's going now. I mean, right now it's on me. <gasps> but can you hear me? Yeah, yeah it's on. Now you. it's on, now it's on you. Okay, I just want to make sure because okay. I feel like I'm the voice that needs to be heard. Oh, okay. Of you mean like of this generation or the, of this podcast? The video is called "Curb Your Dildo." That is catchy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even watching okay. it yet, dude. Okay. Tyler, you made me laugh so much, like. I was feeling my shit, and then like I was dancing with Stephanie, but I, I just kept watching you because you were having like the best time. And dude, you were fucking fist bumping, double fists, like humping the air. And Maria was like, "Yeah, she didn't know what to do with that." And she was, she was smart to go hang out with the girls because eventually it just turned into like all the girls on one side and all the boys on one side. Like it was, and like, we were fucking grinding. Okay, I sent it. Grinding. Right, you know, Which group we're... chat did you send it to? Our to text the, message the, the text message room, yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, yes. Uh, dang, this is on YouTube? Yeah. What the fuck? No way. Yeah, yeah. Just watch it. It's on YouTube. It can always go on YouTube. Look, look at him shout go. Shout out the video title. It's called Curb Your Dildo. <laughs> oh, my God. Wait <laughs> a And then the little Mexican lady... Oh my god, it's not the full video. <laughs> I like the, the next video after this one is the self-thrusting dildo review. Nice. I wish it was the full video because you just see the whole lady just like, what? What the fuck? Uh, that's it. That was nothing. I, I thought yeah. it was gonna be way cooler. It was, dude. It is. I just can't, you know, they they yeah, I've I've seen that one around the full video. Yeah. Dude, I got my fucking mic on a table tray. My setup is trash over here. Nice. Yeah, you look good. You got good lighting. Yeah. I know, dude. I got this light right on me. I'm, you know. Is that the I light mean, stuff I gotta do for TikToks? What? Is that the light that stuff uses for TikToks? Yeah, dude. My <laughs> girl's a, my girl's like halfway TikTok famous. She would not want me talking about that though. So. Mm. But uh, yeah, dude. So the other night reminded me like the last time I went to PBR before I quit drinking. <laughs> so you drink, you, you drank friday were you drinking that night no 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 okay. i was just I, I just you know ate Challenge. a little yeah you know yeah. and uh but um fucking what's it called bro okay so we went to pbr it was whack but i was getting shit hammered so then i went to green and i got fucking so drunk i will like that my buddies put me in the car and then i pissed my pants so i pissed in the car and then so we went somewhere else and then we ended up at pj's 19th hole so I don't know if you guys have ever been to uh, the Norfolk after hour scene. Nope. Pretty fucking trashy. Mm. And uh, 
So I was out with my boys and I go to get, get, get into PJ's 19th hole somehow. And I like halfway fell asleep. So I woke up with some chick on my lap and I started like, you know, hanging out with her for a minute. And then, uh, or I came back to for my blackout with a girl on my back, on my, on my lap. So I went to the bathroom and this dude, I used to also do quite a bit of cocaine. <clears throat> so I was in line for a bathroom and this like old weird gay dude was like, do you, uh, do you like cocaine? And I was like, what I mean, gave yeah. Away? <laughs> yeah why and he was like do you want a bump and i was like sure so i got a bump from him and he started talking to me in the bathroom and he was like you know if i'll give you a gram if you let me blow you and i was like oh fuck dude this and so awesome. i went and told my buddy about it immediately i was like dude this guy that got fucking weird old gay guy wanted to blow me for a gram and he was like well why don't you do it and i was like no <laughs> it's gay and he was like no it's not bro and uh he was like well, tell him an eight ball. And I was like, nah, dude, that's, that's gay. So I was like, hey, yeah, how about an eight ball, motherfucker? Because then I was like, dude, I can just beat him up and take the coke. Like, you can't report somebody for, like, that, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then so he was like, nah, I can only get a gram. So I was like, fuck it, no. But yeah, dude, that kind of reminded me of that night. Nice. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Is it gay? was like... Because I have heard people say this that like a blowjob from a dude isn't gay because it's just a level of masturbation. What if it was in a glory hole? You didn't know it was on the other side. Yeah, I, th- I feel like I'd be able to tell because they'd have like bristles around there. He was like really trying to convince me, dude. He was like, "You can just like watch porn while I'm doing it." Like I was like, "No, man." Like, dude, I really hope my mom doesn't watch this shit. She probably gonna, will. I'm gonna send her the link. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna <laughs> dude. Yeah. I'm going to ask him to say not to. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mom, I talked about some stuff on a podcast. Don't listen to it, okay? <laughs> but yeah, back to jiu-jitsu, bro. Um, yeah. yeah. Now, these are the kind of stories I tell after practice in jiu-jitsu. So yeah. it's like... You got to save that one and get it on there. Oh, d- what do you yeah. guys think about uh, Tony Ferguson getting his knee popped last night? Bro, that was vicious. Like, that was such it a wasn't bad even, I'm going to watch it. It, was, it wasn't even like... I don't think he even had like... You didn't have the honey hole tight enough, but still, like, it was like you, you think you, you start defending instead of like, oh, I'm going to use, I'm going to heel strike him in the stomach to, uh, to let go of that. Did he, did he, I mean, he lost that fight, right? Yeah. It wasn't a submission, though. It was just what? Decision. A decision? Yeah. I'm watching it right now. Yeah. I, upon oh watching, my God. Franny is right in the sense that he didn't have like the hips locked, but he could still generate enough momentum to get that thing. At least. That's yeah. still like a fucking terrible angle on your leg. I don't know what he was thinking about. Like, yeah, you know what? Well, let me just get my ACL torn real quick. And then, you know, I mean, what it was like, I think it's something like if, if he made five of the night, Dude. he made 75K. Tony Ferguson only fights once a fucking year. So it doesn't matter if he tears his ACL and wins. He'll just like, fucking not fight for another year and get another title shot like shit like that Dude, or like just, fight like the fight like for the title like help I, like get the like the next fight will be for the title i need to look this up because i think um i think conor mcgregor got 22 mil for his last fight which is unheard of he was number one UFC, on the forbes for, last for, day that yeah thing. for a ufc fighter I'm like that's Dude. insane but ferguson never fights uh, who do you fight? Who do you fight again? Darius or whatever the fuck his name is, the Iranian dude, a Syrian no, guy. No, uh, Connor. Uh, I don't know. He has his ass kicked. Poye. Dustin Poirier. Yeah. Yeah, he got his ass kicked. Connor. That was vicious, dude. He beat the fuck out of his leg. I was like, oh. But uh, yeah. So, what else is on the agenda, boys? Let's see. Well, I heard that. Somebody we know may be able to get some fake COVID vaccine cards. I have my, I'm vaccinated. Are you really? Fucking, uh, yeah. yeah. You can't prove I'm not. Oh, true. Yeah. How dare you assume you. I'm not vaccinated? I'm going maskless. My girlfriend would not walk near me at Target. She, she, dude, we went to Target and I was like, I'm not wearing a mask. And she was like 10 steps ahead of me the whole time. How how long do you guys spend in Target when you go? Dude, she was fast today. It was fucking awesome. We were in there out in like 30 minutes. It's not bad. Then we went to Vitamin Shop. Connor McGregor got three mil plus forty thousand from sponsorships 
and Dustin Poirier only got eight hundred thirty thousand. And Paul McGregor lost. And McGregor lost. But this bro, is, how much? Did how it, bad are these guys at negotiating contracts? So, I guess it's just his. He's just you know, it's it's Conor McGregor, dude. Like he has, he's such a household name now, and he's he's buddy buddy with fucking Daniel White and those other dickheads. That he's like, yeah, dude, I want three fucking million. So, well, you know, suck you my can't. Dick. You can't not pay him because he just won't fight. He doesn't care. So did that – was that fight a first-round finish or a second-round finish? Second round. Second. So second, Connor, right? Connor probably got paid like $400,000 per minute that he was in the fucking octagon. Yeah. Like seven minutes. Bro, what would, if I started fighting? Well, I mean, your head is perfectly made for it. Yeah. Would you – Now, that, do, now that the tough sparring partner's gone, I'm going to start trying MMA. I don't want the reason I don't want to do MMA is like one I don't like getting hit in the face. I mean I'm good at boxing, but I don't like to get hit in the face. Period, and I don't want to be like what's his name turn out to uh, start off like a, have a solid career and then yeah, boom yeah. I tank and turn fucking Diego Sanchez, bro. Not I'm happening. telling you something. I am terrible at blocking punches. Okay, sick. Yeah. Terrible. Good I just you know my face is just. My clinch. Like I'm just like oh Who, who's that who's that other fucking white dude that, that he every time he wins he'll do like a back to he got like his name tatted on his back. Oh he's like a scrapper. Justin Gaethje. Gaethje, dude. Gaethje. I do like that. Like people like that, they don't last long, bro. Like, oh, I'm just gonna take fucking punches. Oh, I'm a scrapper. This is how I fight. No, you're fighting stupid. Dude, Especially gonna- at the upper weights, dude. And when if you do that at like two like 185, 205, like you're just fucking dude, you got three fights in you. Yeah. And you're getting killed. I saw a video of Chuck Liddell. I was watching one of the embeddeds and Chuck Liddell was speaking and it was it was literally just like he's going to yeah. person, he's got fight, you know, and he's just going he's gonna go out there and do the damn thing. It's like Jesus. Yeah. Dude, he called out Jake Paul, he might get knocked out. Chuck Liddell. Yeah, he's he's, he's, punch, he's drunk by Jake Paul. He's punched. Well, he probably does that. Yeah, and he fights. His hands are so fucking low, dude. Like when he throws punches. So, what's his name? Oh, uh, not is it not Matt Sarah? Matt Hughes. Oh um, my, Matt Hughes, bro. Yo, I saw a video when um, uh, Dana White tried to bring on stage to congratulate. You know he got fucking hit by a train. Yeah. Apparently. Oh yeah, Matt Hughes. Yeah, bro. It's kind of yeah, like he parked his car on the train tracks. That's crazy, bro. And now he's just a completely different person, man. Like he. He he recovered as best as he could, bro. But he's clearly like not the same. Dude, that's guy. kind of a that's that's kind of a metaphor for my life, man. Yeah. That yeah, dude. At one point, at one at one point in my life, I I parked myself on the train tracks, and then that train hit me. That was mm-hmm. rock bottom. Mm-hmm. And then I found jujitsu, and it saved my life. Hey, Amen. Do we talk about that enough? Is how jujitsu saves lives? Uh, I think everyone that does jujitsu at some point reflects on how it has been very beneficial to their life i think everybody in the game or that's been in, in the game long enough knows like there's something positive that you get out of jiu-jitsu so yeah joint pain yep yeah Shoulder but do you problems. think like do you think matt hughes like right after that train hit him started taking jiu-jitsu more seriously and he was like dude i feel like a better person now i don't think he can he can train if if he didn't uh be inspired to do jujitsu it definitely changed his mindset mm. yeah mindset is everything it is everything Damn. but there's other things to it man like you can't change your game true you can change well, your mindset but you can't change your game well he can't do anything with his game he can barely walk true so well, i mean his game has changed he has to change his game bro so speaking of changing the game, I am going to change my game when it comes to strength and conditioning. Okay. You know, it came in yesterday. Don't tell me that every goddamn Peloton came in. Dude, the Peloton came in yesterday. Have you set it up yet? Dog, they came in and they had a delivery service for free. They came in my house and they put it together, dude. They brought their own tools. They killed it. They gave me some other shit. They were like, you know what? Boom, boom, boom. This is what you got to do with it. Once my shoes get in, I got to order shoes at some point. You got the one um, we had to clip in? Yeah, dude. I got to get the extra gay. push. I got I to gotta really have the push on there. I got to be able to get out of the saddle and go. And Because uh, I was watching my girl do it today. 
very attractive watching your girlfriend do Peloton. Nice. You should do it like how they did in sunny. It's always sunny in Philadelphia. So like you put that dildo so you don't sit down and you're just going to stand up. <laughs> you got to get one of those like dragon dildos though. <laughs> Dude, there used to be, never mind. No, nah, say it. <laughs> <laughs> there used to be a French girl on Pornhub that would ride one of those on her motorcycle, like down the highway with a GoPro on the back of her motorcycle. Really? That's crazy. Yeah, I can't find the videos anymore, but it was nuts. What, what if she, she got in an accident? Oh, fuck. Those things, the girl, girls that use those things kind of just like blow my mind. Like what draws you towards getting something? Like a traffic cone. Yeah, like shoved up in there. A guy that's really good at smooth talking. Okay. <laughs> Bro. It's like, you know, there used, you to be this, there used to be this dude in my unit that would like scare off hookers because his jaw was so big. His fucking <laughs> schwang was so fucking schwanging. One of my buddies was in Korea and he was like, Yeah, and he's a black dude. And he's like, Yeah, none of the prostitutes would get with me. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I tried so many times. They're like, oh, no, too big, too big. It's like, come on, lady. Come I'll on. pay you double. Jump on I'll it. pay you double. All right. I was blessed. <laughs> you were blessed? Yeah, it was something that could enter anything. Tina. <laughs> A good size. A good size. Tiny. Good <laughs> Tiny. <laughs> yeah, bro. Nah, dude, I, I suffer. But, um, yeah. Curse of the Irish. Yeah, dude, curse of the Irish. I have a binge drinking problem, so I can't drink because I'll just end up like fucking cussing. Like, dude, Tyler, if I was as drunk as you, I would have been saying fuck you to everybody in the car. You guys would have been like, this guy's terrible. If I was drunk, <laughs> like, you were cool the other night. You were like, what's up? <laughs> I would have been like, fuck you, you stupid fucking slut. Like, it would have been bad. <laughs> That's what I did um, on my wedding night, apparently. Uh, so. <laughs> We got we got married in Vegas, me and my wife, because I was supposed to go on deployment. So we like, all right, we're gonna get married in Vegas, and then we went to um, what was it called? I thought no, is it some fucking club in Vegas, bro? And Tiesto was DJing, so we got VIP, right? And we were drinking, you know, during dinner, and then we went to the club and all this shit, and everyone's buying bottles. And I'm pissed drunk already, and I don't want to see Tiesto. And next thing I know, I black out. I wake up in my room clothes changed right and my wife was like you were so horrible we had to walk you back to the room and i was just like every person i see slut skank whore skank, <laughs> slut, skank man fucking cunt man i'm like for no reason don't remember it I don't remember it at all hell yeah yeah dude i got so drunk the night before my older sister's wedding that like we went to the rehearsal dinner and i was fucking hammered bro and then we went to chicks it's a little bit of a too local for some people, but it's this sick deck bar in Virginia Beach. And it's like super cool because you can wear flip flops and jeans and like girls think you're sick. And uh, but I got hammered there and then I got kicked out. So we went to venue or we went to the brothers to get a pizza. And then so we were all brothers waiting for the pizza. I was like, I'm going to get a venue. And then my mom went up there to get me and Ooh. she pulled me off a table in venue. And like I fucking hurt this sh- fucking she hurt my arm <laughs> motherfucker, when she yanked me off the table by my pant leg and i like landed on my side i hate drinking to the point where i wake up the next morning and you remember you did something so fucking stupid that it just like <laughs> annoys me throughout the rest of the fucking day like i remember one time i was in puerto rico with my family and shit and we're in like old san juan and there's all these bars and shit and we go to every bar. I'd grab a beer and take a shot. And then one time I went to this fucking bar outside. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm going to get a shot. And I was buying shots for my family. I took it. It was like fucking, I think it was Jack or Jamo or something like that. I took a shot. I couldn't hold it in, dude. And I threw up all over the bar. And I just remember being, wow, this is very shameful right now. <laughs> yeah. See, I've I've never really gotten like drunk and when, like been super like aggressive or anything. But whenever I get fucked up, whether it's on alcohol or CBD or anything, I always wake up the next day and I'm like, I call everybody that I was with. And I was like, yo, did I, did I show my ass last night? Like, 
did I do anything? And they're like, yeah. no, nah, you're good. Yeah. No, okay. Dude, I think as long as everybody like feels like you're a good time and like you're having a good time and you're not like being disruptive or like fucking shitty to people, it it doesn't really matter. Like, it's, you know what I mean? You get, it's just, I get, I get to a point where like, all right, it starts off slow. Right. And then, oh, I'm, I'm having a good time. Oh, Franny's fun right now. Franny's a good time. And then it's like, nope, I just fucking tanked, bro. I tanked and like, oh, he's not fun anymore, dude. He's kind of, it's kind of being a dick. No, Franny, yeah, dude. there's a special like cocktail that we have to give you and you become like super Saiyan Francisco. Okay. Where it's just like life of the party. All right, cool. <laughs> dude, can I say what you're what you said never mind what there's like one franny that i really like say it it was on snowboard and franny oh okay uh, let's not talk about snowboard and franny yeah i love snowboard franny okay. snowboard and franny was cool yeah yeah remember when you definitely. lost your glove like five times <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't know like, i i like, didn't know that fucking thing was meant for that but you know lessons learned you know yeah. dude that yeah. ski trip oh bro i fucking when i started skiing i fucking hated my life i was being such a pussy bro <laughs> well i was like we were all very excited for it because we were talking about it and we we're like the minute that he realizes he's not good at this it's he's gonna it's gonna ruin his day and dude all, i fucking hated my life i was like this fucking sucks i'm fucking dude i was so mad at you guys i was, so my mad. <laughs> I was like dude i was so mad uh, I guess it's my turn to babysit Connor down the fucking green. I'm like, all right, Connor, like any day now. We're but bro, after lunch, after lunch, yeah, yeah. you made the transition. Good for yeah, you. He started snowboarding. Yeah, and but that was one of my favorite things too. Like, because it, it was good to because like Bobby knows how to ski, so I got some good ski runs in with him, and then just like watching connor like cannonball his way down the mountain <laughs> and then plus like franny, like franny was nothing but heart the whole time he was like fuck it let's do it <laughs> it was fucking yeah, we were just we were bombing hills like i i slid down on my back for an entire hill at one point and but i thought i was good dude I thought, <laughs> oh, wait, wait is this when you were snowboarding yeah i did the okay. first day uh, in the I afternoon I yeah. yeah i do we were all on the same ride and it was fun yeah, I think we were all like we had finished the run and we were waiting at the lift. And we're like, "Where's Connor?" And we look and we just see like a He's going so like, sliding slow. down the mountain. <laughs> and we're like, you know, usually you see people go back and forth, but you're just going in a straight line, just straight down. Yes. Here comes. <laughs> <laughs> and then like I would get scared and just like fall on my ass and then just like fucking Do a turn speed. down the mountain. Yeah, yeah. Oh man, that was that was honestly a fun trip. I hadn't. I don't, I, I don't think I had ever actually really done like a, a friend trip like that before. I'm yeah, we should that. do that again. Yeah, definitely. Well, let's go to the other one, bro. I heard the other one's pretty cool. Let's uh, just all be in Colorado Snowshoe. next winter. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah. Because Bobby's going to be out on the West Coast too. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Have to plan that accordingly. Make sure I got enough leaves days for that. But I'd be down to do a little Colorado oh, bro, trip. I got to plug my computer in. Give me a second. Um, so today is a busy weekend over in my house. We did uh PBR Friday yesterday. I was just mm -hmm. a, a shell of a human, um, and I had to teach jujitsu all day. Brutal. And today we did our open mat, and then I went to brunch with some friends, but it was a drag queen brunch, and that was a drag, it was at Crocs on 19th Street. They do oh, it wow. oceanfront. Uh huh. They do it every Sunday at eleven and two. Their ladies' night used to be a fucking weekly event for me. <laughs> I would get fucking way too drunk and call everybody a slut. That's nice. what I used to do at ladies' uh, night. I was terrible. That's a Cisco special right there. Ugh, I was a disgusting human. Um. So overall, it was it was a pretty fun time. Like, you know, I. The ladies, the dudes, I guess, were doing doing their thing. But it was like they would play music and then the girls would like come around and just like move their hands in the air and like lip sync to the songs. There was this one, uh, this what, what was the white chick's name? Do you remember? It was this one named Foxy with three X's. And at, she was wearing stilettos. And at one point she tried to do a cartwheel in her stilettos and almost came down on a bridal party full of African-American females. 
And I think that would have been the funniest thing possible. Like, oh, how, how'd you get taken out before the wedding? Oh, a fucking drag queen did a cartwheel along me. <laughs> Dude. They're big, too. A lot of them drag queens yeah. are tall. And that's what I kept thinking about. I was like, like you know, you you see you see a dude wearing a wig, and you're like, huh, huh, dork. And that's not the word that I would actually use, say. But um, then you realize, like, oh yeah, this would be like a dude. Like if I I would be fighting a guy in a wig, and you can't yeah, a man a guy wearing a wig. They have they have well a not a man. It's whatever they want to be. But. Yeah, the, their pronouns, he, she, whatever the fuck it is. But they they have a spot like that out of Miami. This is video that surfaced. Um, I don't know who's to blame here for this. But it's basically like a drag queen bar, whatever. And this drag queen grabs these two little girls, right? I don't know how people feel about it, but they're making the girls pose. And, you know, they're, people are giving the girls money. And the drag queen's like, yeah, girl, get your money. And they're throwing the money on the floor. And these little how girls- How old are the girls? Like, Dude, they're like fucking six, six and seven. You know, like- Oh, I don't young. feel good about this. I you don't know, like this. And why, then, why are they there in the first place? Correct. Correct. And it's like the, the ladies film is like, look at this. This is fucked up. They're making them like, you know, like the strippers and all sort of shit. And people are encouraging them because there's two sides. It's like, look, they're having a good time. Their parents brought them there to have fun. Like that. And then you got the other side. It's like, well, this doesn't fucking look good as a parent. Why are you bringing your kids to a show like this? And, you know, and a bar in general. Well, you know, restaurant bar. Yeah, you know, you know my dad yeah, used to take I've, I've bars been to bars. bars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But it's he like, just never like, took me to a strip club. Yeah, like it's. I mean, I don't know. Dude. I I talked to my wife about it. She's like, "Well, there's nothing. I mean, I don't see anything wrong with that. As a parent, you're just there having a good time. You got to get your kids used to like you know different kinds of people and shit, not be so judgmental. And then you got the other side. I was like, well, they're kind of like. I think it looks like you know they're getting them to like the girls' mindset. Like, oh shit, if I just do this and pose and shit like that, people give me money, and then next thing you know, they're strippers. Yeah, not I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not that parent. I'm not the first parent. My kids aren't going to get used to it. Mm. They're just like, I'll explain it to them when they're not six. You know? Right. They're like, why is that person dressed up like that? You know? I just I'm think like, there's, there's, that's there's, just there's, what they do. There's a, a certain age limit, like, all right, look, bro, let, let's keep your innocence for right now. We'll explain that later in life. Like, you don't need a. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I kind of knew what a drag queen was, I think, when I was, like, 12 or 13 or, like, 11. Like, there was, like, a movie where Wesley Snipes was a drag queen, and I watched it, and I, like, I, like, got the guys dressed up as chicks. Like, I, I got that. Like, I got what a drag queen was, but, like, I wouldn't want, I wouldn't think it would be good if my, like, dad took me there when I was six. My dad definitely wouldn't be into that either. <laughs> he would do be like, what, fucking no ew, what yeah one of the guys we were with we as well oh so a few of the, we went with some handsome individuals and the, we played this game called prostitute and they she i was outside uh having a smoke and they had speakers outside and oh heard, are you smoking cigarettes now in the morning no 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 no, no. a little vape i was puffing my vape like a cool guy vapes are cool um but I go in and she has all three of them stood up and she's like, all right, well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to take your shirts off and we're going to walk you all around and whoever gets the most money wins. And uh, the three dudes that were there were pretty, you know, they were pretty into it. Of course they know how to put on a show, but then like, as we're, and the, the drag Queens loved one of the guys and they gave him like bottles of cologne and like took him backstage with his wife and we're doing shots and shit. Who was that? Uh, uh, ben. The Hebrew. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We're not saying anything illegal. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. But yeah, so they took back. They took Ben backstage, and then one of the other guys was just like, "This is just a den of mental illness. We just gave people money <laughs> for like parading <laughs> around in wigs. What are we doing? We're enabling them. They should go see help." <laughs> and one of the other dudes we were with, he was sending a text uh, to one of his buddies. And the train, uh, the uh, <laughs> the queen was uh, s sitting over his shoulder and staring and looking at his phone, and he was like, he referred to her as a tranny in the text, and she and she looked up, she goes, I ain't no fucking tranny, and like went on, like went in the stage room and like started dancing around and shit. 
<laughs> but but he was pissed at us because he was like you guys saw her fucking looking at my text and you didn't tell me to fucking chill out. Like, bro, nobody knew they were texting. Yeah, I, I was we, like, what I are you know texting Trady? Like, <laughs> how am I supposed to know where you're texting in the first place, bro? Yeah. Yeah. Was, what do you think? I'm a nosy fuck. Yeah. I am nosy though, dude. I'm I do bitch. catch myself looking at other people's phones, but it's just because I'm, I'm addicted to looking at a screen. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Anytime a blue thing comes up, I'm like, you got to get that fucking that private screen protector, bro. No one can see my shit. Oh, I don't really care. If is that what you have? Stuff. Yeah. You're a fucking loser. What do you... Oh, oh, I know why you watches, have it. No, Franny watches porn at work, so he wants yeah. to make sure that nobody fucking... Oh, bro, do bro, you ever... I, you get, ever... I, I, just get, I just get so much shit from uh, that, that group chatting with my friends. I literally had... A, I get like... No, I have like three gigs of just porn shit that they send in this group chat. And it's just like, all right, dude, like some one of you guys got too much time on your hand to be sending me this... So much porn on this fucking group chat. It's like, it's, do, you, it's crazy. do you bang heaters in the bathroom at work? No, no, not anymore. Bullshit. You've never banged heater in the bathroom? Hey, can you send me, can you add me in on that chat? I can send, I'll send you all the content that, that I got right now. It, I'm not sure you're not, you're not going to, you're going to have enough space on your phone. Uh, maybe. I don't know. I've got okay. four gigs. Okay. I'm going to send you some stuff right now. All right. Fucking A, boys. Um, so what's up with this week? Oh, so this is something else that came up on Friday. Tyler was telling my girlfriend, he was like, you know, I get your boyfriend in there and he, I get him to teach class once a week and he is the most unenthusiastic coach in the fucking world. And I just wanted to explain how I coach class. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. Compared just... to you, I, I'm more of a free form guy. Like I like to let them warm up by like going through their takedowns nice and slow. Like I don't need to like, you know, pick everything they do, you know? I hear you. Okay. You're more of a pro- uh, concepts guy. Yeah, I'm a concepts guy. Like, we're, we're getting there, you know? Okay. People are getting better on their feet. They're getting more aggressive. That's really what I'm going to be coaching, the aggression. Yeah. I mean, I definitely see, especially with the newer white belts, like a lot of them start from their feet, even in, like, noon class, whenever t- anytime they roll morning class. I like it. Yeah. Are they get, They're getting better, too. Like, they... Dude, they just suck at finishing. God. Uh, yeah. But, I mean, that comes. As, as far as, like, connecting it. This it isn't a secret. Work. I'm not talking shit about them. I tell them that all the time. I just don't say it that way. Yeah. But you mean, like, fin- like finishing getting down to the ground, settling into position? or like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Like, dude, Franny is actually, like, my star people in the wrestling class. I know he's been doing jiu-jitsu for a while, but, like, I feel like his head position and everything has gotten so much better. And I think that helps with all kinds of things in jujitsu. Like it helps with your passing and stuff. Like if you can mm-hmm. keep your neck stiff and be in there tight, like you're, you're in way better spot. Oh, and yeah, I think yeah. he has brought that into his passing because his passing is a little heavier, a little better. I have, been using, I have been using that, that skill trait that I picked up from wrestling. It has been very beneficial to the, to my passing and shit. I just need to, work on uh, executing better takedowns. It's not being so hesitant and just fucking, man. It's fucking, like how you said, bro, shoot. And if I fail, reshoot again. That's all I've been doing. It's like, all right, Yeah, shoot, you just have get- to be able to kind of bail when you need to bail. Yeah. And you only get to, that That only becomes a better, you only get better at that skill doing it more. But like you should be able to shoot, sweep, kind of get on the leg. And if you need to, just get the fuck out of there. You yeah. know what I mean? Just fucking- wait, wait, what was that? Do it again. Just fucking get out of there. Like, I'll shoot and then, like, be like, fuck, no. Yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm going to send you this one. This is pretty fucked up. Okay. This this guy stuffs uh, Mentos in this girl's butthole and then proceeds to put soda in it. <laughs> and guess what happens? It comes out of her mouth. Let me see if I can <laughs> send it. How do I forward this? Forward <laughs> to Tyler. Boom. All right. I wait with bated breath. Are you sending it to Tyler or both of us? Oh. I send I send the WhatsApp because it, I don't. Let me see if I can send it to you in the WhatsApp. I don't have WhatsApp. All right. Well, I'm just gonna put it right here. You put eight Mentos in there. Yeah. I must look. Ready, Connor? Do you want to watch it? Michael. Okay. Load it. Oh my God. Okay, I found it. There you go. Uh, well, 
Oh my god, dude, her face is so. Oh no, Franny. Uh, it's... No, 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 Franny, Franny, we're gonna pull up YouTube. <laughs> yeah, don't put that on YouTube. Okay. It's fine. Okay. I, I, I got the, I got the image in my head from Tyler's face. I'll just send it to you somehow. Yeah, and this is the type of shit that they send me in this fucking group chats, shit like that. Connor, I'll send it to you. Yeah. Okay, but uh, fucking dude, what else is in the world in the ugh, new in the world, man? We got the masks is kind of lifted. So yeah, you don't have to wear masks anymore. We all got fully vaccinated. Not me. So what else is there? I refuse. They don't. Bro, did you guys get affected by the the, by the pipeline? No. Uh, yeah, I couldn't get. I had to. I had to take my bike to jujitsu one day. Oh, bro, you did. Oh, that's why you took it. I thought you were just being like thrifty. No, but I mean, it is nice taking, especially this time of year. Uh, I think it just caused mass hysteria, bro. Like, I had, I mean, I, I was able to get gas, but it was like on the second day. I didn't even know the pipeline thing was going down, bro. And, just, like, <laughs> <made a big laughs> and then Brother, look at her face. Look at her face. She is hurting. <laughs> She's you know, it's pain. icy and this, the, the, it's like the burning. Like, imagine carbonation in your nose and then imagine it in your butt. Yeah. But I was uh, I was concerned about this. Like, how did construction guys react to there not being a lot of gas? Not, not like being the, oh, bro, there was so not, many people like not not what? in like their opinion of like their Joe Biden's fault on it. But like, could you guys still operate machinery and shit? Oh yeah, I mean they're fine on like the diesel. They get so much diesel fuel at a time. Like they can, it's different. It's I think it comes from a different place. But um, because it's all off road diesel and that's different because it's like dyed different. Because it tax shit, but people will you definitely use it as an excuse not to come to work. Like everybody was like, "Yeah, I can't get gas. I'm gonna be late." Nice shit like that. Like, or hey, I gotta go before this gas station runs out of work. Like, runs out of gas. Or like, hey, if you got me driving all over the place, you're gonna have to pay me an extra hour or two for gas. Like, definitely getting taken advantage of. But I mean, that's all in the game. Yeah, it's how you live life, bro. That's how you get extra hours. So they sent me this one and I found it pretty fucking funny. I just sent it to you, Tyler, and you can send it to to Connor. It's not a video, but it's pretty fucking funny. Wait, do you not have Connor's phone number? No, I do. I just don't have it on WhatsApp. Yeah. But uh, what else happened? I don't know, boys. One of our better training partners is moving. Yep, unfortunately. Yeah, that stinks. But luckily, if we if we give like the white belts and the blue belts that we have another like six months to a year, we can easily have like not to say that they would replace Bobby because he's just such a special boy. Yeah, but yeah, um, he would definitely big fella, big fella Eli, coming in good. Yeah, yeah, bro, he's 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 gonna be a beast soon. Um, yeah. Oh, dude, we have we have fucking um, promotions this week. Okay. Who's getting promoted? Ooh, are you allowed to? Oh, say I know anymore? what you're gonna do. Fuck you. Um, what am I? Are you? Uh, I'm gonna be like, psych, y'all suck. Keep training. No, I know who's getting belts. Who? Why? I mean, we're gonna put this out. You're gonna tell me if I'm right or wrong. No, nah, no. Nah. Yeah, we'll see. I think you're giving Bobby people- a brown belt. Think you're giving Maria a purple belt? <laughs> Are people getting belts? They're getting stripes, or is it both? Both. Both. Okay, cool. Yeah, cool. You're gonna give Chris Mansfield a blue belt. Chris Mansfield. Or a stripe. I'm not sure. Some people are due, bro. Some people are due. Yeah, I mean, there's a bunch of, like, just goons out there walking around with no stripes on their belt. Just because I think promotions are gay. And yeah, honestly, I should. you should probably just put make me a brown belt. <sighs> nah. Do you, uh, yeah. I'm really going to make you a brown belt after you couldn't escape from my half guard pressure today? You weigh, <laughs> weigh 20 pounds more than me. Franny, I had him on his back pinned if in half guard for two and a half minutes today and then so, and then he passed and i got right out no and then i got mount and then i got your back i was just conserving energy 
Yeah. And then I won the round. And then after the round, he really had the audacity to go. I was going to let you, I was trying to let you pass. He was being <laughs> such a cocksucker, bro. Being such a cocksucker. Like he knew exactly four what he was points. doing. I don't know yeah, what I did points. to piss him off. I don't know if he knew that I took so many pictures of him while he was hammered at Wawa or what. Oh, and now, really? now because of that event right there, really? these could be floating around soon. <laughs> Will you at least send me one of those pictures? I'm not, I'm not embarrassed about it, but I just want to see how fucked up I look. <laughs> well, I don't, they're not really that good. They're blurry. Yeah, Maria was saying I had like a very, uh, very thick sheen of sweat on me as I was bro, vomiting. And- my hat was drenched in sweat. Like, my bro, you ate- I, was, I, was, I was like, God damn, bro, this shit was sweaty as fuck. <laughs> you ate a quesadilla in Wawa. Yeah, dude, I was waiting for my sandwich. Like, <laughs> Inside the Wawa, taking- you yeah, ate was, a quesadilla. Me and, Franny, so me and Franny have picked back up on smoking cigarettes. Yeah. Good for jiu jitsu. Yeah. Can't wait. Now I'm not gonna keep smoking. But we're gonna start yeah. fucking. I'm done. That, up again. that was horrible. I can't believe we did that. <laughs> hey, look at that guy. There's just two of them. I didn't really take any pictures. You looked like we were getting angry. I didn't even know you threw up until I got out of the car. I was like, "What? Well, did you guys clean that shit? Or is it still?" Dude, there? Somebody sprayed yeah. it down. Maria I think Maria sprayed, sprayed it down. It down. Yeah. Which what? I mean, she was a real hero of the night. Connor, Dude, I, pre- I appreciate it. you bringing me inside. I brought you inside, right? I know. That's what, yeah. Yeah, that's the only thing I did, though. I didn't do anything else constructive. But anyway. I was supposed to drive, but Maria had to go home twice. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Maria, Maria tried to get into the bar with her college ID. And a piece of paper that said, I am. She was like, look, I got a TCC and I bought a license. (laughs) (laughs) Fucking, what kind of shit is that? (laughs) She's probably so mad listening to me right now. A little bit, yeah. I really wish you had headphones on. Nah. But, uh, yeah. No, dude. I don't know, man. But yeah. My girlfriend's slamming doors. I don't know if she's pissed off or not. Yeah. I'm, I, it was funny watching Kurt like interact with the people that he didn't know, and he was just like, "Let me buy you a drink, and buy you a drink." Dude, people showed up there. Like, I wasn't expecting to be there. I wasn't expecting Kurt to show. I was like, "We don't think." But damn, this guy, this guy looks familiar. Oh, he comes to the morning classes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I invited him. Oh, Kurt's cool as shit, dude. I like yeah, Kurt. He is. Yeah. He is cool. Yeah. Uh, and then Jay was there. I was like, "Dang, what's up, homie?" Yeah. Yeah. I gotta pee real quick. One second. Roger that. And then fucking mm-hmm. Tucker showed up. Yeah, it was a good time. I, where, I, are we, where, are we at, where are we at time right now? Uh, we're probably at like 45 minutes. I didn't really set a timer. Or wait, hold on, let's see. I can look at my text and tell. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we're at like 45 minutes. All right, cool. Um, so what else? what else oh yeah and then as as everybody was leaving like we closed down the bar but did like, i, I miss holding, anything no but like i was okay. holding um, the door open for everybody and everybody that walked by i was like don't forget 9 11 never forget 9 11 don't forget yeah. 9 11 that's not something you can forget bro you'd be surprised people do I know one people you, don't one think of about you guys it has a fucking jet flying over your house right now. Who is it? It's probably Connor. Jesus Christ. He lives in that area. They fly that low? That's the sound of freedom, boys. Man. That is the sound of freedom. If you don't like jet noise, you can kiss my fucking ass. I will not. Kiss I haven't I don't wear a mask either because, you know, shout out to Shane Gillis, true patriot. True patriot over here. And Tyler is also a true patriot. And he... Um, See, I, I run a patriot gym, so we don't wear masks. Even in the peak of the COVIDs. Yeah. Masks. And we don't have Brazilian in our name because we're true patriots. Dude, I think I saw somebody post up, like, you know how, like, like a jujitsu sign, but it says American jujitsu. Like, I think the revolution is starting right now where people are like, yeah, well, we're in America. 
and I'm actually American and I teach jujitsu. So I'm just going to put American jujitsu on my school. So where did they, where did they put that up at? I, I don't know. I think I just started scrolling through fucking one of these stories in Instagram. And I saw that shit. And oh, I was like, dude. Hey, and I was thinking about it. Dan has a, it says just Brazilian jujitsu on his school. And I was telling him, why should he just, why not just jujitsu? Why does that have to say Brazilian jujitsu? Like if you're not Brazilian, because he doesn't want to change his game. Because mm. if he calls it American jujitsu or just jujitsu, he's gonna have to just start doing leg locks, bro. Because that's that's more American. And then if he just keeps Brazilian, he can just keep it true to his game. Okay, I guess. Because I'm gonna open up my jujitsu school. It's gonna call Puerto Rican jujitsu. PRJJ. PRJJ. That's pretty sick. I like that. Yeah. What the fuck is it going to be? You know, just. For just okay, for, for, you can go here and then stab him. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> once you get to side control, reach, reach, reach for your pocket and slowly begin to shank his side. You can get three hands. good ones in before he really yeah. reacts. Exactly. Slide hands, bump knuckles, start hitting him with your flip flop. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Reverse Casey could tell me, then go Casey could tell me and smack him in the head with your flip flop. Right. Chancla. Yeah, the chancla. You guys call them chanclas? Okay. Chancletas. Oh, chancletas. Yeah. What, um, chanclas for short. Oh, yeah. So we got a guy that's going to our academy that, uh, his thing is like when he gets out of the Navy, he's going to go to a community college and do it online and then live in Puerto Rico and train with Gordon Ryan. I don't care if he hears this. I make fun of him all the time. Who is this? He's new. He drops in sometimes. Uh, is it uh, Two Chains? Jersey Boy. Two Chains. Yeah. Two Chains. Okay. I mean, yeah, the, for sure. Do with it. With the great hair. Yeah, Connor, go closer so we can see your dandruff. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, that was bad. So we were at a tournament, like side sidetrack. We were at a tournament, and I was like sitting with everybody. And, uh, bro, I had the worst dandruff that day. It was coming off like fucking sea salt kernels. <laughs> That's crazy. I never had dandruff. I don't know. Well, it's because you're Puerto Rican. That's probably what it is. Yeah, it's white boys. But right. jet noise. That's freedom, boys. Man, they Wait, won't stop flying. They, they won't never stop. do in that area. They're always flying. So, fucking um, homeboy. I but dude, his Noki game is so bad. But I think he's I think he's good enough at grappling that he can get better at leg locks pretty quickly. Yeah, I was hoping he'd be in there today. I wanted to, I haven't gotten a roll with him. Yeah. He's, he he has a last game, bro. Like I like rolling people like that where it's like it's not too aggro, you can still have fun and you know, play a little bit and shit. Like me. Um, yeah, sometimes with you. You you get upset. You you start going super aggro when like someone submits you and you're like, all right, I got you. I got a minute left on the clock. I got to do an aggressive pass, and then I'm gonna pull single leg X. I'm gonna fucking rip this outside heel hook. I'm like, like I'll I'll, I'll submit you, and then I can just tell like, oh, he's pissed right now. And you're trying to do your passes, and then I get on top, and then you just fucking yank my leg for a single leg X. I'm like, oh, here comes the outside heel hook, and I'm just holding on for dear life for like the next thirty seconds until it's over. I'm like, pretty so predictable, I'm aren't I? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. I know. <laughs> Not as much, as you know. <laughs> but yeah. Now I feel like it's fun rolling, dude, with that guy because yeah. I, I like guys that like invert and stuff. Like it's fun to play with that. Yeah. I just, dude, I rolled in the gi today and I fucking hate it, but I'm gonna start doing it more. I don't. It was kind I, of. I don't hate rolling in the gi. I enjoy rolling the gi, but I, I feel like I'm better in no gi. And as I said, some people are like so strong, like, like with the whole grip shit like that. It's just, it just, it just. <laughs> The game changes. The game changes. Yeah. With like, 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 like Maria wrapped me up pretty good today with like some fucking worm guard shit. I don't know. Yeah. Her and Tyler are like, ugh. yeah, it's fun. We just do the cheat codes. I only do leg locks and lapels. Yeah. Yeah, he went for the worst knee bar ever today. I was like, get this pussy shit out of here, fucking motherfucker. Literally, like, the first 10 seconds of the roll, I just sat in on a knee bar, 80-20. It was just such bullshit, bro. Like, what are you doing? Play the game. Don't change your game. He changed his game. Yeah, pass first, establish position, and then go for it. Dude, yeah, dive on a leg lock. Dive on a leg lock from north-south. I know you were talking – you are shitting on me for – 
what's his name when i when i did that leg entry on austin but it was right there dude like and we and we were just drilling that I was like oh it's right there i just fucking set in on him and i couldn't help it uh, uh, dude i, I tear it. i tear austin up with foot sweeps every fucking class like like every time we do a takedown class we go for two minutes and i foot sweep him four times and he's like what do i do wrong and i was like you're just Got bad balance, <laughs> said that. I started laughing at that shit. Dude, was like, he's, just, he's so he long. Sometimes, like trying to get like do the clinching on him and shit like that is it's all. It Dude, I'm trying lot. to I'm trying to get him because he's like six two. I'm trying to get him to fucking jack people up with the underhook, yeah. get that tight underhook, and really create some elevation. Yeah, but like I don't know, man. Whatever. I don't know I what I'm talking he, about. I think he'll get it eventually once it it'll click for him and for Eli. Yeah. Eli, I feel like I got nice eyes. Sure. I think people are going to watch this and say, that guy's got pretty eyes. It's this green shirt that really brings him out. Probably. Yeah. But I digress. Um, That was a good one. That was a good little thing right there. The digress thing. Yeah. Nice that's word. Good, word good of the day. Camera, yeah. Yeah. But. All right, guys. Well, we're, we're at about an hour. Sounds good. Yeah. That about wraps things up. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'll uh, I'll I'll compress this, and I'll probably either post it. I think the best time to post it would be like tomorrow morning. Yeah, I think we're so, good with that. that would be for good. all so, our fans out there, thank you for watching. If you want to donate to Team Showers, all contributions will go to getting better equipment and better quality videos for you. Just email it to this email down below, and. Bro, if we if we got <laughs> if we got some donations, we could get a soundboard and we could do this together. Might yeah. be a little better, a little cohesion, you know. And we, we get donate. sponsors, bro. We need sponsors like like Tidewater yeah. Jiu Jitsu. Ooh, oh, we, we get sponsored by the Navy, the U.S. Navy gets sponsored right this podcast. Yeah, U.S. Six. Navy. Okay, well, boys, you can uh, find me at at Connor underscore O with a zero zero H one n and then uh yeah we got at team showers podcast i think it's called if you search team showers on instagram you'll probably find us yeah you can catch yeah. me at tie angle bjj check it out at tie water bjj vb if you ever want to get your strength along i have an instagram uh i keep getting confused with two different names so i think it's like dope friendly dope vids or dope vids friendly or some shit like that you know let me see. What is it? I'm going to get it down eventually. It's dope Vids Franny. Let's check it out. Yeah, it's Dope Vids with a Z, Franny underscore. I'll be posting jujitsu videos and shit like that mm -hmm. of He's the got school. A sick one coming down the pipeline. It's coming, bro. It's coming. Just a rough cut. I'm going to work on it. Try to get it out by this week. Nice. All right, y'all. Right. Well, cool, guys. Right, Again, peace out. Thanks for listening. Catch y'all later. Check us out. Bye. Like and subscribe. Peace. Peace out, boys. Later, guys.